It's not uncommon to see automotive manufacturers today do radical mid-cycle facelifts for their vehicles with increasing competition each and every year. After only a few years on the market, the seventh generation of the Sonata looks to get a significant revamp enhancing technology, standard features, driving dynamics, and styling. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this new 2018 Hyundai Sonata Limited. While this isn't an all-new Sonata from the ground up, Hyundai has made many significant changes to call it more than just a typical facelift, starting off with the styling of the vehicle, which now features a cascading front grille, vertical LED tail lights, and a completely no front fascia that gives the vehicle a mature yet athletic presence that retains a very sleek side profile. These styling enhancements are certainly welcomed as the previous Sonata was criticized for somewhat conservative styling. The Sonata measures at 191.3 inches in length and 73 inches in width, which are similar numbers to many of the best-selling mid-size sedans like the Toyota Camry and the Ford Fusion. In addition, the Sonata comes with a profusion of standard amenities such as a blind spot detection system, 7-inch color display with smartphone integration, and a multi-angle rear view camera. Here is the key fob design for the new Sonata. You have your proximity key which includes your lock, unlock, to release your trunk, as well as your panic alarm. The exterior color of our particular Sonata is known as the Phantom Black, and you also do have smart key access on the driver's door as well as the front passenger door, chrome exterior door handles as well. And our limited model also comes equipped with the ultimate package, which comes with many high-end safety technologies such as adaptive cruise control, as well as automatic high beams and then a heated steering wheel too. You also have the rear side window shades. And this interior color combination, you have two-tone gray leather interior with perforated leather seats and stitching on the side bolsters, as well as a power adjustable driver's seat with four-way power lumbar. Stepping inside of the new Sonata, the overall design is still pretty much the same compared to the uh, previous year Sonata, but it's still a pretty nice looking interior. What they have updated are the controls um, for the climate control system, also the infotainment system has been updated. There are some numerous changes inside of here, but the overall design is still pretty much the same. But our top of the line Limited is pretty luxurious. You also do a push back ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. What you're hearing there is a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder engine, full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, we have a six speed automatic. Pretty standard stuff here with manual shiftability. No paddle shifters there, but you can get that on the sport model of the Sonata. When you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the headlights as well as the hazards. Driver's window and front passenger window are fully automatic. Pop up the hood and let's check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED side turn signal indicators and blind spot detection. And we also do have 17 inch alloy wheels. And we have LED headlights with dynamic bending lights too, as well as LED daytime running lights. Powering the Sonata here underneath the sheet metal is a very familiar 2.4 liter inline four cylinder engine gas direct injection that produces 185 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 178 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM with EPA estimates being an okay 25 in the city and 35 on the highway. Those looking for better power can up for the two liter turbocharged four cylinder which will produce around 245 horsepower. And then also if you are looking for better fuel efficiency you can go for the 
Eco model, which also features a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. But this is the mainstream engine here. This is going to be the most popular choice and pretty much many Sonatas are going to come with this powertrain here. And your six-speed automatic is the only transmission available equipped with the 2.4 liter four-cylinder. And it is front-wheel drive also. Now with the 2.4 liter four-cylinder, when you compare this to uh, the Toyota Camry's 2.5 liter and other vehicles in the class, the fuel efficiency is a little on the lower end of the spectrum, but um, the power and the acceleration is um, adequate, it's pretty competitive for the class, but the fuel efficiency just isn't the greatest with this base engine here. Pricing of the Sonata starts at the base SE trim level, which starts at $22,050. Then you have the Eco, $22,650. The mid trim level SEL, $23,700. And then the Sport model, $25,200. And the top of the line limited, $27,400. And then you can also add in the two liter turbocharged four cylinder to the Sport and limited models. Competitors of the Sonata, you're looking at vehicles in the mid-size sedan class. This includes the likes of the Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, Nissan Altima, Chevrolet Malibu, Ford Fusion, and you also do have the Subaru Legacy as well as the Mazda 6 and Volkswagen Passat. One styling cue I've always been a fan of is the chrome trim that runs on the belt line here, which is pretty cool. It's a unique styling trait for the Sonata. And you also do have a shark fin antenna. A single chrome exhaust tip. If you go for the two liter turbocharged four cylinder, you do get dual exhaust tips. EPA estimates, like I said, 25 in the city and 35 on the highway. Total vehicle price for our particular model, $31,310. And from the government five star safety ratings, you're looking at an overall vehicle score of five out of five. And the final assembly point for this vehicle is in Alabama. All of your basic power necessities, including power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, as well as memory seat settings for two people. Like I mentioned earlier, the interior design is a little more on the simplistic side, which is not necessarily a bad thing. You'll find that the ergonomics are phenomenal and then also the interior materials are um, pretty good in our top of the line limited model too and it's soft touch on the upper door panel mid door panel as well as the armrest and on the dashboard too build quality is also pretty good um, you won't find too many hard plastics hard and cheap plastics but I mean you'll find them here and there but overall it's a pretty nice and inviting interior to be in and it's on the simplistic side which may fit some people's tastes a little bit better as many vehicles are starting to get a little overdone in terms of their interior styling so it's all comes down to taste but coming to the steering wheel design pretty good looking steering wheel here though you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls bluetooth phone controls it's not cluttered with a whole bunch of buttons as well as your voice recognition and then you have your adaptive cruise control located right there as well as your button for your driver information center which is a 4.2 inch screen then you also do have a manually tilting and telescoping steering wheel automatic dimming rear view mirror as well as your Hyundai Blue Links telematic system SOS safety connect and then your garage home link with an integrated compass LED map lighting sunglass container and your sunroof with your sunroof controls Apartment, two 12 volt power outlets, your USB charging port, and your auxiliary input. And we do have the Qi wireless charging system. Your charging pad is located right here. Dual cup holders, your electronic parking brake with your automatic brake hold feature. Parking sensors off, and your different driver selectable modes. You have three different driver selectable modes, which is typical for Hyundai. You have your sport, comfort, and your eco mode center console with your removable tray decent amount of center console storage space and we have dual zone automatic climate control with your temperatures on the dials fan speed levels different zones pretty easy to figure out but the buttons do feel pretty high quality 
heated and ventilated front seats for the driver and the front passenger as well as your heated steering wheel and your front window defroster and rear window defroster buttons. Our Sonata also features the upgraded head unit, which is an 8-inch touchscreen, which comes with the ultimate package here. Your base head unit is also going to be a 7-inch touchscreen, but you'll find that this is pretty familiar stuff here. Not too much has changed um, compared to the uh, previous year of the Sonata. But this is your home screen right here, and you can access your navigation or your audio from here or all of your other menus. That's your home. That was your home screen. and then. You can also swipe like this, which like gives it a natural tablet-like feel, and then you have your phone. You can hook up your Bluetooth phone, and also you'll have an integrated dial pad. My phone is connected to the system right now. And then we have your data services, which gives you things like traffic, HD radio weather, and your a Doppler radar, as well as your weather uh, from provided by SiriusXM. And then you have your SiriusXM fuel prices, stocks, sports, movies. We have a quick guide here, which gives you information about using how to use the touchscreen as well as Bluetooth navigation and your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then you have your voice commands, which gives you a list of all the voice commands that you can use. We'll go ahead and test that out in just a second. You have your My Menu, which you can store items um, in My Menu if you would like like radio presets, shortcuts, pretty cool. And then right here you also find uh, quick little shortcut buttons to like your radio, media, or your seek and track, as well as your map nav. Let's go to setup here. Many different settings that you can change here from the navigation settings to the sound settings, display settings like the brightness, you can adjust that, or the contrast, illumination, well as your voice recognition. Let's go and test that out. Please say a command. AM. Now listening to AM radio. The voice recognition does pick up your voice quite well. Let's go ahead and test out the Infinity Premium Audio Sound System. It does sound pretty amazing. <laughs> Provides pretty crisp and clear audio quality. The gauges feature a fairly traditional analog setup here. On the left you'll find your tachometer with your coolant temperature and on the right speedometer with your fuel gauge and in the center shows all of your vehicle information and you can change many different settings from here. You have your tire pressure and then it also shows you if your attention alert system is on or off. Many driver assistance settings that you could change from the lane keep assist system the automatic emergency braking for collision warning as well as your rear cross traffic alert. You have your door settings, like your smart trunk, you could turn that on or off. Lights, sound, convenience, service intervals, and you can also reset to um, your factory default settings at any given time. And you have your fuel economy, average fuel economy accumulated info all your trips and stuff, and then your drive info as well as your digital speedometer. But overall, fairly easy to use, all controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel here. And we have your lane keep assist, as well as your blind spot detection system, and then your um, trunk release as well as your traction control off button. Hondas have never really been known to have superb driving dynamics, generally speaking. However, the Sonata here really changes that whole idea and that's one key aspect where Hyundai has really improved with the Sonata is the driving dynamics. You'll find that it does feel much more, a little bit more nimble around corners as well as um, more predictable of course. And the six speed automatic transmission does shift very well. I mean, no jerks or anything like that, how you'll find in some other vehicles today. But also the Sonata 
just handles a whole lot better. The powertrains, if you're looking for the most power, go with that 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. And then if you are looking for a better fuel efficiency, just go for the Eco model with the 1.6 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. But this 2.4 liter 4 cylinder should satisfy most consumers. Just be aware that the fuel economy is not the greatest in the midsize sedan class. The ride quality is also um, a little on the firmer side um, compared to some other vehicles in the class like the Toyota Camry but it still rides fairly well and it's still comfortable for most long road trips all right I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the vehicle let's go and check out the rest of the Sonata Interior quality does follow through in the rear, and you have manual rear window sunshades, which come with the ultimate package. Rear adjustable headrests, but not for the middle seat. And the seats also do fold down 60 40 split. Back here, you'll also find plenty of legroom, as well as plenty of headroom, even though it does have a sloping roof line. Headroom is still pretty good and you don't have to duck your head a whole lot to get into the rear seats. But one thing I will, I do have a gripe about is that there's only a single map pocket back here, which I'm really not sure why. But you do have a rear, rear air vents back here as well as a rear USB charging port and a rear center armrest with cup holders. And the seats themselves are um, pretty comfortable back here too. All right. Plenty of trunk space and to fold the rear seats down, just pull on these levers right here. Easy as that. And you also find your spare tire. Always nice to see. So with its wide variety of powertrains available, its more standard features and its handsome athletic styling and its improved driving dynamics, the 2018 Hyundai Sonata should make for a pretty compelling choice in the mid-size sedan segment. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.